Hi everybody, Matt and Danielle. back with you. We're in Dumfries. Our plan was to have a look at things to do with Peter Pan, but as we're not five years old, we decided not to go and visit the museum. So Peter's been scrapped for now, um, and I'm not sure anybody wanted to see it anyway. Instead of just having a very quick look at this graveyard behind us, we've just been stopping at a house across the road overnight, literally across here, in the graveyard of one of one of the world's most famous poets. Yes, we're back at poetry again. How does this keep happening? I'll show you who's here. So this is St. Michael's Churchyard. What it says is Robert Burns was buried here in a single grave 25th of July. Oh, is that today? In 1815, his remains were moved to a vault under the museum. Under, oh, sorry, mausoleum. Right, so, somewhere in here. Robert Burns, born in 1759, is one of the world's most famous poets. Even though a lot of what he's written is in the Scots dialect. He is a Scottish cultural icon, and his life and work are celebrated today across the world. He was married to Jean Armour. He had 12 children, though not all were with Jean. There is a statue to Jean opposite the graveyard. We paid a quick visit to the Burns House in Dumfries, which is now a museum. Robert Burns passed here in 1796, aged just 37 years old. It was interesting for me to see his signature scraped onto one of the windows in the house, and it's still there today. This sun is just going to be in all the wrong places today, isn't it? I'm not sure if you can make anything out at all. Nice churchyard, right. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, wow, that's some very old ones here. It's amazing. Oh, I thought there was a plaque on it. Right, we'll have a look round. So, I know nothing about Robert Burns apart from occasionally drunkenly singing Old Lang Syne, and for some reason, the one about the mouse. Uh, Robert, Mouse, Robert Burns to a mouse Schemes, the best laid schemes of mice and men Gang aft a glee That happens quite a lot to me but Not best laid plans, best laid schemes And I actually learnt that from Batman <laughs> What's really noticeable with this graveyard is Every single stone is kind of red, isn't it? It's like the church is red stone. And the graves are red. However, some do have blue plaques as well. And I've got Robert Burns contemporaries. So people connected to him. Reverend Burnside. We had a look inside the church and found the pew that Robert Burns and his family used to sit on when they were worshipping in the church. Apparently he used to sneak in and pretty much hide behind the pillar so he couldn't be seen. So this is the original site of where Robert Burns was, which I think, did she say is now his sister? Or Mrs. Pericon. Oh no, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Yeah, moved apparently, because nobody could find him uh, somewhere else. Okay, so this is the mausoleum 
of Albert Burns. So, yeah, so it's him, two children, and then she's in there, and then another son. Put it inside, the light will not allow me to take a better picture, sorry. The real place of oh, somebody <laughs> can't make that out. Okay, just short and sweet, just to show you the grave of Robert Burns. Not the original grave though, where he is today. Um, somebody somewhere else will have done a heck of a lot more work on this. Um, it's not my forte, Robert Burns and poetry. Um, but it's interesting, it's a piece of history uh, we should have been able to bring you. So, uh, yeah, we'll see where we end up next. We'll see you soon.